Hey guys, it's your girl The Duchess and today it's a wash and style day. I'm going to show you some of the products that I'm going to be using for today. So first I have Aunt Jackie's Oh So Clean Shampoo. Next I have Aunt Jackie's Quench Leave-In Conditioner. Next I have Not On My Watch Instant Detangling Therapy. Next I have my Cantu Shea Butter Coconut Curling Cream. Next I have my Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Curling Gel. Then I have my spray bottle to, for the rest of the process because you need your hair moist. Next I have my t-shirt. You can use a t-shirt and you can use a hair towel. Make sure you guys do not use a towel for your hair. And lastly I have my hair and comb for the rest of the now what I'm doing is basically taking the oh so clean and going through my hair, taking a little bit of the amount going through my hair because I do not want a whole bunch of soap just being going everywhere. So basically I'm just making sure I go throughout my hair, getting from my roots. Um, right now I'm basically just worrying about getting it in my hair, not just going through my roots right away. Um, now I'm now what I just did when I just went through my hair, I massaged it a little bit and now that's what I'm doing again. I'm massaging my hair because you want to get all the soap throughout your whole hair and making sure it is in your hair. I'm still massaging it, it feels really good though. Um, but you have to make sure you get throughout your whole hair. You don't want to miss any spots in your hair because you still don't want no half clean hair and half dirty. So I just rinsed out the oh so clean and now all I'm doing is getting soap off of my body that fell off of when, when I was washing my hair. Um, well, when I, basically I was putting it in my hair. So now what I'm doing is taking this suave conditioner. Um, I did not use the Unjackies leave-in conditioner because we did not have the Unjackies conditioner. We had leave-in. Leave-in is like for different reasons that you need. So now I'm just taking the suave conditioner and I'm going through my hair, still taking a small amount and going throughout my whole hair making sure I get from my roots and I am making sure I go through my whole head and now what I'm doing is make sure I get my ends of my hair so I'm still going through my hair and making sure I massage it just like I did with the also clean shampoo I'm massaging my hair so I can make sure I get the conditioner throughout my whole head and um yeah Now what I'm doing is I just rinsed out the conditioner. Now what I'm doing is making sure I get all of the hair that that falls out. Your hair falls out almost all the time. You just can't see it. So now what I'm doing is taking my t-shirt and going through my hair to dry my hair. The reason why I said you can use a t-shirt or a hair towel is because when you use a regular towel, you can use, lose your hair, it can damage your hair, and you don't want that to happen if you are a person that loves your hair. Now what I'm doing is taking the instant detangler and I'm going through my hair. I'm taking a small amount because you do not want it just drooping down throughout your whole head. And then you're going to massage your hair again to make sure you get throughout your whole hair from your roots to the end of your hair to wherever else you want to go so then I keep putting it in to make sure I get my whole hair because you do not want to just use a whole bunch and make and overdo it because you're wasting stuff now what I'm doing is taking my comb and trying to get all of the knots out from so I start from the ends and work my way to the top I do that around my whole hair and I make sure I get it 
So now what I'm doing is basically now that I have seen that I got throughout my whole hair and it's really soft, now I'm just making sure I get from the roots to the end of my hair, just going through like I'm picking it out. Now what I'm doing is taking my curling cream and going through my hair. Take a small amount with this too because curling cream actually does have a color. So if you put it through your hair and you just use a whole bunch and you just let it sit there, you will have white residue throughout your hair and you do not want that. You want a clean, good, nice, just your hair color and it doesn't look like, oh, she used a whole bunch of products. So now I am still going through my hair, massaging again, and you might need to take your fingers and run through your hair again, because if you just sit there and let it dry, your hair will get back detangled, and you might still have knots. So now what my dad is doing is taking the spray bottle and spraying my hair. So. I can keep my hair moisturized. Now what my dad is doing is taking the don't shrink. Um, you guys are probably asking why is she not sectioning the parts and using it because it is three of us and we do not need to do that. But if it, I was just by myself, I might need to section it and make sure I get a good amount. Now what my dad is doing is basically he's taking the rat tooth rat tail comb and making sure I have a part so I can have a part throughout my hair. It can look really nice with my hairstyle. So now all we're going to do is take our hands and make sure we twist our hair. Um, this is kind of um, my first experience doing this myself on the video, but I mean, you do what you have to do. So now what my dad is doing is helping my sister know how to twist because this is her first time experiencing how to twist um, hair. She is sweet and nice. She, I can't believe she helped me because she never does for real. Now all we're doing is still going through my hair and making sure we still twist. We are like almost finished. Um, my dad just sprayed some more water in my hair to keep my hair moist. Do not use a whole bunch because you do not want it to drip everywhere and have stuff all over the floor or wherever you're doing your hair at. So now what my dad is doing is basically he's taking um, his hands and going around my whole head to make sure all of the twists are even because you have three different people, not just one of the same person doing your hair. And um, people do twists differently and everything. So he's making sure we go through and have all of the hair evenly twist throughout the hair and so now all my dad is doing is taking the rat tail comb and getting the part that we did when we were finna start the process. He took the rat tail comb and parted it so when you're doing the process you might go over the part and you might like get all the hair over the part so you have to make sure you go and do it over so and while my dad is like reparting it he's actually twisting his hands to make sure he gets the stuff that he pulled out because you might have pulled out the curls so you guys the process is done now we're just gonna wait and let it dry and see the results so right now we're just showing you a round my hair it is still drying it's not almost it's not finished yet but we're just letting you guys see around my hair and how it looks.
so now it is the morning time and I am taking my edge brush and I am taking some even edge control and taking and doing my edges um, my dad had trimmed my edges I mean my sideburns and he um, helped me with my edges he came up with some cre pretty creative ideas to do my edges and I like one of the ones he said so one of the ones he told me to do was to swoop my hair the part of my hair then when I get to my sideburn swoop half of it and let all of the rest that the rest of my hair just go down from my sideburns and the way I did it it looked really cool he actually kind of helped me because I was kind of confused at first but then I got the hang of it so you guys this is the final product and I really didn't know it was going to be shorter I thought it was going to be longer but I still like it the way it is um nearly I'm going to use different products with the same style and see if I like it better than the one the product that I used in this one and see if I like it enough 